All right, let's get started. All right, so you all know by now, the first thing that I always do is I start with my Glorious Face and Eye Primer. And today you can see I actually decided to use a headband. So hopefully this works out a lot better than what I have been doing, where you can see my hair, but you can also see my face. And after I get done with my Glorious Face and Eye Primer, I crack myself up. I take my Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation in Taffeta and I apply it to my Powder Puff brush. And I was trying to get really close so that you could see how I apply the makeup because I've been getting some questions lately about coverage and how to apply and all that good stuff. One of the things, I've kind of talked about this a little bit, but this truly is a buildable product. So if you go in, you apply your four drops to your brush, or however you apply it, you know, you could use a foundation brush, you could use the blending buds. If you go in with your first layer, and you're like, you know what, this is not enough coverage, you can go back in and add another layer. And you can keep doing that until you reach the coverage that you want. But I think what's really important is that you make sure that you use those really thin layers. I'm excited putting that lid on tight because I finally got my Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer, Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer in the mail. And I got the color Scarlet. So this was on back order. I got Scarlet, the lightest shade. And you guys know I wear taffeta. And normally I advise going a couple shades lighter um, with the concealer, but I decided to go all the way lighter and I'll tell you why, because I wanted to have this product do double duty for me. So not only did I want it to conceal those dark circles, but I also wanted to, wanted it to highlight my face. And so I'm using my concealer brush to kind of blend it, blend, 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 and I looked and I was like, oh my gosh, I still have some product I need to blend there. But then I'm gonna go in with my powder puff brush and just blend it a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I feel like that is another great option. And I'm gonna do my facial contouring with my beachfront bronzer and sunset. It's another great option if you're concerned with the Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation not giving you enough coverage, is you can actually, I apply it afterwards because I use it like a highlighting product. But if you want it to cover your, whatever you have on your face, maybe you're breaking out really bad or whatever, rosacea, apply it before. And definitely apply it before if you're using the pressed powder. But because I'm using the liquid foundation, you really have some options there. You can apply it before or after. So I put in, I put on my blush in Seductive and now I'm taking my stiff upper lip stain in Sultry and I'm applying that to my lips. You all probably didn't see, but I kind of wiped off the excess color. And I know on camera, this looks like it's not even and it doesn't look fabulous, but you all know I post pictures and stuff. So be sure to check those out in my lookbook so you can see what the actual result looks like. Now I'm gonna go in with my eye primer and just take a little couple of dots there and apply it to my eyes so gently. Be sure to be gentle with those eyes. Oh yes, there we go, fabulous. I'm gonna take my Mineral Pigment Powder in Irresistible. That was my I'm so irresistible face. And I'm gonna use my deluxe brush and I'm just gonna apply this to my eyelid. And again, remember with the Mineral Pigments, you wanna press them in first and then smooth them out because they need to get a hold of that primer to stay in place. If your mineral pigments or anything mineral is falling off, I highly recommend getting a primer. You all have seen me use my Glorious Face and Eye Primer and now my new eye primer. Um, and so now I'm taking my Moodstruck Addiction Shadow Palette number one and I'm taking Elated and I'm just applying it ab above my lid, that whole area. Cause this is what I'm calling my no makeup makeup look um, is, I know the lips are intense, but other than that, like if I used a neutral lip color, like my sappy, this would be what I call my no makeup makeup look. So I don't really wanna look like I have makeup on. But what am I doing with my Splurge Cream Shadow and Defiant? I am using my Cream Shadow brush and applying it to my lips. What? I know you didn't see that coming at all. 
I really like doing this, especially with Defiant, because I feel like between whatever red lip color that I have going on and then the splurge cream shadow, it kind of gives it almost like a shimmery neutral look. And I really like that. So let me know what you think. Now I'm going in with my Moodstruck Addiction, or not my Moodstruck, my Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes Plus. And I'm not going to lie to you, for whatever reason, I was having a hard time with filming this section. I don't know. I just couldn't seem to be getting the angle correct. Uh, so I apologize if I'm moving around a lot. It's because I was just trying to figure out what the heck is going on today. Like, why can't I figure this out? <laughs> so I just was trying to put my 3D fiber lashes on quickly because I know I was running out of time. It's supposed to be five minutes or less, right? So... All right, there we go. Trying to really, I had a fiber that was hanging a little bit low, so I was trying to get rid of that. And you're gonna have a couple of fibers fall on your face, just wipe them off. It's really not a big deal. Um, what I like to do is I like to go back in, there was the little fiber on my face. Take my powder puff brush and wipe things off. So as I wrap up, as always, let me know if you have any questions and have a great day and be sure to like and subscribe.